Hey guys and welcome back to the JTO channel And before I start this video, um, I'd like to thank you guys for 80 subscribers Just realised I hit it, so yeah, on the road to 100 Hopefully we can get to 90 soon And hopefully hit that 100 um, by at least, you know, you know, the, the start of next season So yeah, um, let's just get into this uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done End the season, end the fucking season bro End it, I'm actually like, I'm done I'm actually done The mentality of these players is on the fucking floor right now I'm done Don't, we got a cup final next week by the way In which we'll probably turn up in If I'm being completely honest But actually, you know what, F that Nah, don't even turn up at the final Forfeit the game, yeah Forfeit the game, 3-0 loss Because it's going to be 6-0 With the way we're moving right now With the way we're playing right now yeah, with the decisions we're making up front, with the nonsense we're doing at the back, the decisions Tuchel's making right now, bringing on Malang Saar, Malang fucking Saar, <sighs> bruv, I'm done, end the season, it's so frustrating, it's so annoying, and it's getting to the point now where it's like, bro, we got so many defenders leaving, I saw a fucking rumour today, where Aspilicueta, who by the way, had his contract extended automatically to 2023, and he is out here agreeing contracts with Barcelona. What are you doing? Hmm? So now we've got him, who's off to Barca, we've got Alonso, rumoured to go to Barcelona, wants to go there, Rudiger's off, Christensen's off, the defence is on the fucking floor right now. Everyone is playing shit, 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 I'm done. I am done. My head is absolutely gone. Gone. And I don't know why it is, because I was expecting this. Yeah? After they scored that fucking goal, yeah? I was like, we're going to bottle it. We're going to bottle it. I'm pretty sure you were like, we're going to bottle it as well. I'm pretty sure you were saying the same thing whilst watching that. With, with 12 minutes to go after Trincao scored that goal. Honestly. And the worst thing is, we're actually... Oh, my God. I would say, except for those last 15 minutes, going forward, I actually thought we were good today. I actually thought that, yeah? I actually thought our performance overall was actually okay. Pretty good. I actually thought it was. I actually thought it was. But as the, as the, as the game went on, we just got worse and worse and worse and worse. Literally every player on the field, I promise you, Werner got worse and worse as the game went on, yeah? Pulisic, who I thought today... Had a decent game, but my god, the transitions, the decision making up front, what is he doing? Yeah, sort of lacking creativity in that way. And I thought at times his creativity was pretty good today, it's just he lacked quality in his passing. The same with Timo Werner, decision making, all for as the game went on. Yeah, the midfielders got worse as the game went on, the defenders got worse as the game went on. Mendy, Mendy. I don't know what is up with this guy right now. That second goal, oh my god, what is he doing? I am not even, oh my god, I haven't even seen it again. And I will see it again, yeah? But from the replay I saw, oh my god. The guy decides to come out and then he hesitates and goes backwards. What are you doing in that moment as a goalkeeper? Once you've decided that you're going to go forward to try to claim that ball, you fucking go for the ball. Even if you miss it, motherfucker, you go for the ball. You go for the fucking ball. I mean, the defending for that second goal. What is going on? Who's marking? Why has nobody got their head onto that? How have we let Conor Cody pretty much just have a free header yeah, when the box is crowded, why isn't Malang Sar? Why is Malang Sar infield when that kid is crossing the ball in? That kid had loads of space on the ball. Why is Malang Sar closing him down? What is going on there? My God, man, I don't know why I'm ranting. I don't know why I'm angry. My head is just gone, and I expected this. Yeah, Todd was at Stamford Bridge today, right? And we still haven't won a game when he's attended a game. Did you know that? He attended the Real Madrid game. We lost that 3-1. He attended the Arsenal game. We lost 4-2. Don't know if he attended West Ham. Don't think he did. He attended this game today. As his first game as the new owner of Chelsea Football Club. Or, or should I say as the part owner of Chelsea Football Club. And we bottle it in the last minute. He's actually a likeable guy, to be fair. 
fair play to him. In the times where the camera showed him, yeah, fair play. Um, what can I say? The lineup. It is what it is. I mean, the back three was fine, I guess. I mean, I would have started Chalabar. Um, you know, there's a reason why I didn't want to do a preview yesterday. And I didn't want to bore you guys because I was pretty much going to say the same thing for the Man United and Everton previews. We'll make it hard for ourselves. We'll struggle up front. Do you know what I'm saying? Defensively, we've been poor. So we might be Charity FC and give a goal away and, you know, maybe drop points. Because guess what? Wolves, they had lost three in a row recently. They had lost three in a fucking row. Oh, they come to Stamford Bridge. Oh, you, you need points? You need points because obviously, you know, European places are up for grabs in seventh. Oh, yeah, come. Come Stamford Bridge. Yeah, we'll give you a last-minute goal. And we'll make it tough for you. We're not going to give you the three points because we actually need, you know, some sort of points, you know, because, oh, if we don't get the points, Arsenal actually might catch up to us and be on the same points as us. Honestly, Arsenal could actually finish above us at this rate. They actually could at this rate. If they win against Leeds tomorrow, they are one point behind us. Yeah. Now, luckily, they've got Tottenham next after that. So, they might drop points. But who's to say that, that we're going to go to Leeds and fucking win? Oh, another team that's fighting for their lives. Another team that has something to play for. Hmm? Wolves have something to play for. Hence why they proper went for it. Because they're only two points off West Ham. They could get Conference League football. So, we didn't take this game seriously, did we? And then we got Leeds after that. Joke. They got to fight for their lives. Luckily, after that, the next two games after that are meaningless and those teams have nothing to play for. Leicester see at home, they're out of the Conference League, they're not making Europe, they've been mid-table all season pretty much. They've had a poor season for their standard considering how they've been in the last few seasons. And then we've got Watford, who are pretty much relegated, to be honest. I think it's official they're relegated. I think they lost to Palace today. But the lineup, I wouldn't have played Chalabar, in my opinion. I understand the double pivot, the wing-backs, fine, the front three... Um, bit surprised that I saw Pulisic, Werner, Lukaku as a front three today. Um, but, you know, I actually feel sorry for Lukaku because before the two goals, I actually thought he was having a decent game. I actually thought the only part of his game that was annoying me was the fact that he wasn't being clinical enough. Um, there were times where the ball was given to him. He managed to hold it up, go past the man, and then he had a weak shot on the right foot. And then he had another one in the first half where he was slotted in by Pulisic. And it was, again, another poor effort. So, other than that, I was actually pretty happy with him. And luckily for him, he won the penalty. Well done to him for winning that. And obviously, banged it in. Well done. And then, obviously, the second goal. Very good goal. Um, you know, Pulisic played it in very, very early, which is what you want in this team. You want the players. You want the attackers mainly. When Lukaku is making a run, you got to play it early. You know, there were times where Pulisic did not do that consistently today. There were times he did it well, and then there were times towards the end, like I said, everyone just got worse, and including him, and he just didn't give the ball early enough to Lukaku, and when he did, it was overplayed, over, yeah, the weight was too much. So, yeah, man, the first... I one thing I don't understand as well is, um, we're 2-0 up, comfortable, yeah, and we're still throwing men forward. I'm still seeing Ruben on cover very high up. I'm seeing... Uh, Saul very high up, the same with um, Reese James or Aspilicueta because him and Reese James swap positions because of the transitions and Tuchel hoped for Reese James to deal with the transitions when it's not really that simple, Thomas Tuchel, as just swapping them both because the way we've been dealing with transitions these past few months have been an absolute disgrace. How, in that situation, yeah, we're 2-0 up and what? There's only the back three that are trying to defend in a counter-attacking situation for Wolves. Why aren't there more men back? Yeah. You know you know the times under Tuchel where I'd say for a good, a good 10 months to 12 months, yeah, every time this team went 1-0 up, I promise you guys, every time this team went 1-0 up, bro, you pretty much knew who was going to win because we'd keep the ball and we'd be so defensively resilient, resolute, very good. Nowadays, with players leaving, with, play with players' mentality on the floor, with certain players leaving and, you know, not being fully committed. Well, shit now. Uh, it's been like this for a while, man. The way we have bottled leads, man. Brighton, twice. Um, today. Um, there's other games as well where we just bottled it, man. And it's just like... It's not good enough. It really is not good enough. And um, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Um, I guess fair play to Wolves because do you know what? 
as much as they got the two goals today, if I'm keeping it real, they probably should have got more. Because I think they created better chances than us overall in the game. The amount of transitions they had in that first half, my days, man. If they had just a little bit of quality, they would have smashed us today. The way Arsenal did. The way Brentford did. They literally would have. There's a reason why they're one of the worst teams in the league for scoring goals. So high. Almost. So high. I don't know if you guys heard that, but give me a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, kind of forgot where I was. I think I was talking about the transitions. Um, sorry about that. My brother just came back home. So, yeah. I don't know if you heard him. I'm not quite sure, but it is what it is. Uh, he came back pretty wasted, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, I think I was talking about the transitions and the fact that, you know, there's not enough players coming back to defend and we're still trying to go forward and score more goals when we're 2-0 up. It's ridiculous. And like I was trying to say now, like, Back in the day on the Tuchel, like, 10, 10 to 12 months straight, like, every time we went 1-0 up, you pretty much knew this team would just secure the win. Nowadays, it's just not like that. And we've always been shit up front, and now we're shit defensively. And it looks like this is the first time I'm genuinely worried about us not finishing third. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about um, sort of finishing outside the top four. I'm just worried about... Arsenal finishing above us or Tottenham that would be embarrassing like normally third fourth second it really doesn't matter because it's all the same you don't win the title but like nah nah not not after the way we began the season and the way they began the season you know where people predicted them to finish and where people predicted us to finish you know people said we we're going to win the league including myself and people said Arsenal we're not even going to make top six some of them you know, some said they're not, well, everyone knew, well, everyone thought they wasn't going to make top four as well. So to have them finish above us is definitely going to be a big sting and it's going to be embarrassing as well. Um, the fact that we're dragged into this top four race, I don't know. Too many dropped points to shit teams. Burnley, Brighton twice, Wolves twice, Man United twice, Everton twice. That's nine times I've just mentioned that. Guys, it's really not good enough. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do a quick player ratings right now because I don't want to make one for the next video. These players don't deserve uh, that sort of coverage from me um, because I'm done. Mendy, for me, go do better for that goal. Go do better for that goal. Um, you're coming out and then you're hesitating and you're going back. Doesn't make any sense. you got to claim that ball. you got to go for it. Even if you miss it, at least I know you went for it. So I'm going to give him a five. Good save, though. One of the saves he made, very good save. Rudiger at the back. Couple mistakes today. Um, at the back, out of position. Couple balls gave away. Played some really good long passes as well. At times defended well, but overall. Looks like his head is in Madrid. Ever since, you know, it's come public that the contract talks and him going to Madrid is pretty much confirmed. Um, he's not been in it, so I'm giving him a six. Thiago Silva, I feel sorry for him, man. At this rate, I feel sorry for that guy. I feel sorry for him, man. Uh, seven. Aspilicueta, mate, you're out here agreeing contracts with Barcelona when you've got a year left on your contract. What the fuck, bro? What the actual fuck? That's so fucked up, man. Four. Just for even that, bro. And the performance today in general, not good enough. Reese James, not good enough today, man. Can't lie, not good. Four. Not good enough today. Same with the Lons out there. Not good enough. Five. Average. The midfielders, Cover. I thought he had a good performance today overall. I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. Uh, Ruben. I thought he had a good performance as well. Seven. Um, and then you look at the front three. Pulisic. I'm going to give him a 6.5. I thought he had a really good start to the game. And then as the game went on, he got worse and worse. And some of the passes he tried to play either just lacked quality or he didn't time it right. Or he just didn't give it at all, do you know what I'm saying? Lacked creativity at times. But I thought at the beginning he was good. Got the assist for the goal, so fair enough. But don't care. So, 6.5. Uh, Timo Werner, 5 average today. Um, had a good 10, 15 minutes. After that, useless. Very poor decisions going up front as well. So, yeah, 5. And Lukaku will get an 8 as well. Him and Kovacic were our best players today. Got the two goals. Hopefully he starts at Leeds and that gives him confidence uh, in the future. But, yeah. I'm pissed off, can't lie.
it is what it is. Chelsea, season's done. Uh, forget about the FA Cup final. Forget it. We're not going to win at Leeds. No, we're not going to win Leeds. We're not going to win the FA Cup final. And we'll probably win our last two games. And just about scrape the top four by point. Watch us finish fourth with a point above Spurs. In fact, no. Watch us. No, we'll probably finish third. But we'll finish a point above Arsenal and Tottenham. Probably something like that. And that would be embarrassing. Like Tuchel said, this team needs cosmetic cosmetic surgery or something like that. He said he, this team needs surgery. Well, Todd, better get to work, man. Because this team... Start again. I'll see you guys later. Well, not later. I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Anyway.